Here we go. It's time. Um, developing for some time, so I just want to address that and give you the opportunity to respond to some some questions and things. Maximalism like that. So stream. Does that all sound like what we kind of agreed to in the emails? Is that yeah, my pleasure. Deal? No, this is uh, this is a bit of a novelty for me. Normally, when people disagree with me, they sort of just take shots uh, on Twitter. Uh, I actually have a lot of respect for people who like hashing it out. All right, Josh, we're done here. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> this is, uh, that's all I need to hear. Uh, you know, whatever, uh, whatever, you know, my reputation might proceed, uh, I do actually enjoy uh, just calmly talking about disagreements, you know. Um, mm. But yeah, hit me up. You sent me an email the other day, and, you know, some people in chat were complaining, like you put out a video shit talking to me. But uh, in the email, to your Hold credit, on, let me get this up you here. did say, hey, I'm going to put this video out, so don't interpret this as some kind of, like, sneaky, you know. Um, so, yeah, I don't think they have anything to complain about. Yeah, and then also, you know, people have differences about what's appropriate and what's not. Um, There's a small I, chance my name will be brought up here. put the video out before the conversation was because I wanted to kind of formulate my thoughts and have some sort of basis to speak on. Uh, you know, so I, yeah, yeah, oh, I do want to, I do want to get, get your, this open here. Yeah, I want to give you an opportunity to respond to some of the things I said. I, I doubt you've had time to watch it because it was a very long video and, um, and, uh, you know, it's only been like maybe 11 hours since I uploaded it. So, no, I have, I'm afraid I have not. I saw some people in my community, uh, reacting to it. Some liked it. Some I'm didn't. downloading yeah. the gifts I, uh, now. I, I, if you I'm donate five dollars, I'll put your gifts into so this nonsense. So, just know that <laughs> I'm doing it right now. Um, wait a minute, let me just. Okay, so, um, all right, so, so yeah, I think we're all on the same page about that stuff. So the meta discussion, I guess, is out of the way. <laughs> we can talk about the real the real issues. We got one already yeah, in here. Up. Let's get this up. Okay, so I, I, there's three things, and I told you in the email, like three things I really wanted to kind of talk about. And um, the first thing is about, uh, and, I, and I don't expect this to be a very long discussion, the first part. I just, I wanted to um, just talk about the responsibility that we have as creators that have a large platform, right? So, like... Uh, you and I both have pretty large platforms. Um, I've got like over a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. You have, I don't know, what are you up to now? You're 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 pretty big. <laughs> well, it's like <clears throat> three sixty, three seventy, somewhere there, I think. Yeah. Well, you have a ton of people watch your stream. I mean, that's that you have very impressive numbers in terms of watching your live streams. So. Um, oh I think God it's damn it! It's a web P. I can't do web P's. Don't send me web P's. Um, so uh, I guess the first question I would ask is just in general: Do you agree with me that when somebody has a large platform, it comes with a certain responsibility? Yes. Okay. I, I figured you'd, you'd agree with me on that. Um, Whenever you everybody fucking remember when EJ and Luna directly said they wanted to report my channel because Constance for two minutes on my stream pretended to be EJ as a as a complete and utter joke that was based off of a random Twitter interaction meant no harm and did no harm to anybody. And then they got literally hundreds of people, literally hundreds of people to retweet false false reports of my account. Remember when that happened? I do. Threats. Fuck EJ uh, and fuck and, Luna and Oi. Of, like, Tanky and wife and Discord mod husband. True. <laughs> Okay, seen. just so you all know, we're going to pause, so we're going to be a little bit out of step, but I need to be able to do commentary now that we've gotten a nice, solid amount of gifts up on here. Oh, we just got new gifts to add. Let me add these gifts real quick. Yes, I'm a furry. Deal with it. Fuck yeah! Okay, so this is something that happens every single time EJ and Luna get involved in some bullshit. They make extremely, extremely uh, hyperbolic statements, and then they get mad when people say mean things about them, even though they've just been making a fuckload of hyperbolic statements themselves. This is quite literally what we call crybullying. I fucking hate that term because everybody calls everyone a crybully all the time, but when you regularly go around calling people like... um like against the revolution counter revolutionary cia agents you you go out of their way to spread misinformation about them being a pedophile and then you back off of it the moment that you're called on it that's fucking slimy as shit and i don't give a shit i find these people to do this fucking constantly ej and luna do this all the fucking time they weasel out of every statement that they make they make a bunch of noise they say that everyone who disagrees with them even a little bit is is a fucking uh a uh, counter-revolutionary uh person and then they get people to go and fucking flag videos that's the worst part that's the thing i think that that outweighs all their stupid accusations is the fact that they literally constantly uh go out of their way to uh to try and get people's channels taken down i think that's pretty gross 
I think using your weird, absurd, tanky followers who just who follow you because uh, they think that you're a trustworthy source to take down people off of completely false information is incredibly fucked. So with all due respect, this is the most beta response. Also, it's spineless. If you're going to be a fucking shit and call people like counter-revolutionary or accuse them of pedophilia, own your shit. Why do people have such a fucking hard time owning the shit they say? Just admit it. We have a fucking video of it. We have a fucking screenshot of it. We just caught you in 4K uh, using a, 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 a bunch of out-of-context clips to try and make somebody look bad. And you're going to try and save face now? Shut the fuck up. Maybe the Nazis Shut had the a fuck point. up. Nazi has a point. I, I'm not an idealist. Uh, I'm not going to talk about hypothetical. I'm not an idealist. Don't have any on the wait, wait, wait. He just said, I'm not an idealist. I'm not going to deal with any hypotheticals that don't have anything to do with the situation at stand. I'm not an idealist. I don't think about things, okay, guys? That I don't use ideas, everybody. Materialism is when real world. Yeah, materialism is when materials are in front of you. So, like, iron sheets and, and iron ore, that's materialism. And idealism is the schematics. And if you don't use, if you don't develop any schematics and you just use normal materials, that's materialism, everybody. This is scientific fucking fact, what I'm telling you right now, okay? So the smuggling, what is it? What is it with fucking social conservatives and fucking smuggling? Can you tell me that? What is it with the smuggle? Wait, Ow! Wait, what's a smuggle? A smuggle is when you go... <laughs> it's a smug oh, chuckle. Smug you do it when you're embarrassed and you need to buy time, and conservatives do it all the time. Because... It's the natural, the natural, it's okay, because their thoughts are just the disgust re response. And when it's just the disgust <sighs> response, you just kind of get to like, you go, <laughs> look, is, look at how stupid they are. Exactly. This is self-evident. Yeah, go. you got it. You fucking nailed it. Yeah, they're using the Sargon technique. Let's continue. Idealism is what? not when you. My basic no, it is not when you use ideas. You think idealism is when you think, which is why you don't. Yes. Listen. He literally just he just said, "Oh no!" It literally is. Idealism is when you have ideas. This is the dumbest shit. Like, okay, EJ has to be drunk, right? Like, the, like somebody walking into a conversation about philosophy, trying to defend your wife on the internet to thousands of viewers, the, and you walk in and your argument is basically, uh, idealism is win ideas. You have to be, you have to be in like an altered state, right? Or am I just, is this bad? Am I being evil right now? Is this racist? Am I being racist by saying that EJ, a white guy, is, uh, it seems drunk by going on the internet and trying to defend his wife? by saying that idealism is win ideas? Like, unironically saying that? Is this all a troll? Am I am I in an alternate reality? What the fuck is going on? Here's the where you're wrong, because you are conflating empiricism and and uh, positivism and determinism with dialectical materialism. No, that's but what Luna was doing. One of the important doing. things that Marx and Engels pointed out, Vosh, is that through conscious activity, we can impact the material world and we can make changes. And so, for instance, people can liberate themselves by developing mass movements, but they have to develop them with an understanding of the material processes of reality. If you try to develop, okay. so for instance, of course, all poor people don't want to be poor anymore, right? But like, if you have false consciousness and you don't have a firm grasp on how material processes work and how the world actually develops and how things can develop and how applying your consciousness to material conditions will develop. What? Applying your consciousness to material developments? This is word salad. I'm sorry. This is word salad. Sounds like some cult shit. Guys, tanky shit is a... There is a lot of cult shit in, in tanky shit. There is a lot of it. Okay, there is a reason why I lean towards anarchist thought and not towards Marxist-Leninist thought. And that's because in Marxism-Leninism, there are hierarchical structures that involve putting aside yourself for and, and the things you believe in in the name of the greater good of the party of this totalizing entity, okay? There is a lot of cult shit in Marxism-Leninism, specifically in Marxism-Leninism. I said uh -oh. that you need to... Because she's my wife! Because that's my wife you're talking about! That's why it's bad that I was mean! Because that's my wife! That's my wife who calls the LGBT movement in Vietnam a color revolution. That's my wife who implied you were a pedophile. That's my wife who who regularly tries to get people reported just because they offended her. That's my wife. My wife. Oh, you're howling, are you? Well, you think my wife is funny? You think it's funny? 
You're an idealist. You're you're an idealist. You're you're an idealist. That's my wife you're talking about. And I'll have you know, my wife is the ideal wife. <laughs> Come <laughs> try to get me with that. Try to try to pin me with that one, Mr. Vosh. And now here we're going to say, watch, listen, he's going to say, if you, oh, now you're comparing Luna to a Nazi? Obviously ignoring the fact that the reason Vosh is asking this is to, is to desperately try to figure out what the fuck the point is here. And then he's going to get mad about hypotheticals. Watch. Watch. It's about to happen. You're about to witness it. You're gonna oh my God. Wait a minute. Hold on. Everyone, we must leave the Vosh zone. And we, we must change our attention elsewhere. Behold, witness my face uncluttered by, by gifts. I have received news that EJ and Luna are coping live about the debate. And that sounds amazing to me. Did you hear that? This is how you can tell, by the way, that they're clip farming. Oh my God! Did you hear that? We got the clip, honey. <laughs> honey, honey, we got the clip. Oh my God, honey, we got the clip. <laughs> you are being so mean to my wife. We got the clip, honey. Oh my God, Ver Vermin was pointing out. It looked like his eyes were following someone, going back and forth. He really was watching her pace across the room. Oh my God, what an observation! Holy shit! Oh no! My wife! Oh wait, that's right. Hold on, I was gonna take a moment for a breather. A little breather, okay? Everyone, let's take a breather for a second. Okay? A little breather. Okay? Are you following? Just a second. Are you following? It's very straightforward. Simply apply your consciousness to the material conditions so that you can structure a scaffold, a scaffold that will carry you forward to rematerialize the idealistic conditions that you're looking for. But make sure that you're not doing so in the ideal world which no longer, which not yet exists. You cannot live and build a scaffold in the ideal world which does not yet exist because we haven't reached uh, Ho Chi Minh style class consciousness. Oh my god. They're trying to do it again. They're gonna make him- He's gonna trend again! They're gonna make him trend again! No! We'll never be free! We'll never fucking be free! Oh! Oh god! We're trapped in this Vosh trending prison. Please! Please! You should listen to me no matter how unhinged my take is. You should never criticize me and definitely never ever criticize EJ's wife. Never do it. It's so mean. That's his wife. Now that we are, what we are doing now is surveillance of the counter revolutionaries known as Luna Oi and American Johnson. And now they have been joined by a further defector. From the cause of anarchism, it appears, Professor Darwin, a.k.a. Aaron, of re-education. I'm very concerned about this, and you should be too. This, what you witnessed before you, is vital surveillance for the revolution. The impolution. It, that is a nonsense statement. Just... Yeah, ideally? Sounds like an idealist! <laughs> Canty says, nice copium dim you have there, let me have some. I don't know what, like, what is your... We're talking about the conversation I just had. How is that copium? <laughs> Dude, just don't address it. If they say you're coping, you could just not address it. It's time once again. We find ourselves caught in a dreadful war, uh, war zone of tweets and retweets, of video reacts and responses, of debate bros and woke scolds. The internet torn asunder by competing revolutionaries in the battlefield of memes. But as you know, we imps are a free company. And here from Mama Base, we will rule 
even if we are small. We will fight against these people. We will take over the battlefield and shape it in our image. They've tried to kill us many times, haven't they? No doubt there'll be cancellations on the horizon. I'm sure they'll say that I called them Nazis or something. I did not. Although they might be. I can't tell definitively. American Johnson and Luna Oi might indeed be Nazis. For all I know. After all, I did see a clip of them admitting that the Nazis had a point. We survived the cracker energy beam with the power of our raw faggotry. We stood strong and we will continue to stay strong. We'll rise again and again if we have to. To see these joyless hacks fall. <laughs>